Okay, this is a very quick video on using um, speed. It's, I guess it's a sort of an unknown hidden uh, kind of tool or trick in Flash. Uh, it is uh, a feature, a subset feature of the bone tool in Flash. So to sort of show this off, I'm going to create, um, I'm going to use uh, a shape. I'm going to apply a, an IK armature using a shape, right? So grab the bone tool. Obviously, I just made a shape using the rectangle tool. Uh, and I'm going to quickly create an IK armature. And as you can see, I'm just drawing some bones. And I want the, um, art the articulation of this shape to be uh, a little bit more fluid at the top. So as I create these bones, I'm making them a little shorter as I go along. But that's good enough for now. So now, if you want to basically, well, let's say this. Now you can actually move this thing around, right? And all these bones uh, move sort of a, a, in equal amounts or as fluid as, uh, as each other, right? There's no variance um, on how any of these bones move. I can like do this and, and every bone from the, from the very top to uh, the very bottom move the same, okay? Open up the properties panel, select a bone. Don't select the actual um, IK armature because that'll give you a whole different uh, settings, a whole bunch of different settings in the properties panel. So select the actual bone, click right on it, okay? Now you'll see here this little feature called speed. By default, all of these bones are set to 100%. Okay, and I can click on all of them, and you'll see they're all at 100%. Now, what you want to do, what you might want to do, if you uh, want to simulate that some bones are, I guess, heavier or more sluggish than others, is to adjust the amount of speed. So for this bottom bone, this base bone, let's say this is a big tail or something. Um, I can click the very first bone, the, the, the bone that would attach to the body, let's say. That would have the least amount of articulation, right? Let's drop the speed down. Not all the way. You could do it all the way, but I like to leave a little bit of, of speed uh, to about 7%. And the second bone up, maybe whatever, double that or so. Um, maybe about 25 for the third bone or 30 or so and then maybe by midpoint here you want to be you know whatever 60 or 70 you can work it out uh, and then this one just a little bit okay and I'm gonna leave the top three bones at 100 right because I want them to be very um, to move around a lot and much easier so now when I move this around yeah I, I feel like the base of this tail is just a little stiffer all right it's a little bit more sluggish and and the end bones are very um, malleable, right? I can move these things around a lot, um, very easy. So it's really uh, a real-time animation kind of feature more than anything else. Uh, let's see, case in point, I actually used it recently for uh, a monster that uh, Paul Traney, an Adobe evangelist, designed. Um, I can play this thing out and watch, take note of the tail itself. Uh, it's behind him, so you don't really see it very well. But if I dive down into this uh, animation here, and I can uh, shut off a couple of things so you can see it better. Um, I used speed. And let me extend my timeline up, shut off a few more layers. Okay. So I've nested this, and I used speed to help um, with the articulation while animating. So that's basically the idea. So that's what speed does. Uh, I don't know. Hope this helped. Uh, it, it works great for, um, let's say, let me pull up one more quick uh, example. I should have probably done this before, but I've got a good example here using an actual character. Um, give me one more moment. I should probably just edit this, but I don't have time. Okay, here we go. Alright, so here is a perfect case of, of using speed. Alright, so here's um, this arm that I have obviously here with this character and the bone speed uh, for this bone was set uh, very low this one not so much and none here at all so the hand moves very easily right if I drag this around but you can see how the uh, forearm moves a little bit more with a little bit more ease and then the upper arm really doesn't move as easily and I kinda like that it's, it, it feels more like I've, I'm grabbing someone's arm and moving it around and that's what speed does and then I, I love uh, I love that feature because it, uh, it, it has sort of the animator in mind, um, so it's a good one. So use it.